Uh, you want me to just we, squeeze what we got here? We can also, if we, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the rest of that. Uh, and we'll save these lemons for doing something else limited later. There's all the fake stuff is. It's like white here and it has like a dimension. It looks alive. If you juice up a whole lot of pineapples, it almost gives like a glow. Like pineapple look amazing when you juice it. So that's Jordan the third, maybe? That may not be right. So uh, one of the kings, one of the kings of England. Um, when the first pineapple got to England, he had his portrait painted next to it. It was that expensive. Because they were so rare and expensive and delicious and just like exotic. It was the most exotic thing you could have. That's why you see a lot of stuff on the East Coast have pineapples as their <clears throat> show of hospitality. Because uh, hospitality is a way to show off your wealth. That's why Southern hospitality is a thing. Almost all those other traditions are there to show how wealthy you are. So like sweet tea and uh, that. We went to the Myrtles, which is a haunted plantation in Louisiana. Uh, and in one of their chandeliers, is really cool. In one of their chandeliers, they have uh, four cherubs up around the ceiling facing the four compass points, north, south, east, west. And then between the cherubs, they have alternating ears of corn and pineapples. So the ears of corn are for prosperity, right? Because you plant a little corn and you get a lot of corn out. And then the uh, pineapple is for hospitality. And did you also know that most of the early founders probably came from the Caribbean. They probably came from Haiti. From where? Haiti. Most of the early founders? <clears throat> I know the early founders of Charleston all came from Barbados. Huh. Well, oh, that makes sense because there are English colonies beforehand. This right. is just another English colony. So it's another English colony. So, so a lot of them ah. came, and pineapple, as you know, is from the Caribbean. That's right. It's from South America. Delicious. Okay. Lemonade, lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade, lemonade. Because you don't need that much lemons to make a whole batch of lemonade because the lemon is so intensely flavored and so powerful. That if you add too much lemon, it's gonna be terribly sour. Nobody wants to eat it. So it has to have more sugar than lemon and then more water than anything else by double. Now I'm pre-chilling our glass containers so that when you put your lemonade mix in them, that won't heat up. Because if you can serve cold drinks out of a cold container or hot food off a hot plate, you're maintaining that quality longer. It takes longer for it to go hot or cold. Uh, I'm combining white sugar and hot water to make a simple syrup. It's just called simple syrup because it's just melted sugar and water. Uh, these are really easy to complicate though, so if you wanted to do like a mint lemonade, you would soak mint in here at this time where it's hot, pull the mint out, and then the simple syrup would have a mint flavor. And it's now mint syrup, not the simple syrup. You'll hear some people incorrectly call it that. No, it's a mint simple syrup. No, it isn't. It's a mint syrup. It's not simple anymore. Simple is just the sugar in the water. So now I'm going to go up to the 900. So, now I've made a sugar syrup, dissolving all of the white sugar into this hot water, which we will later combine with this lemon juice and cold filtered water. And the reason you have to make a sugar syrup solution here with the hot water is because if you add granulated sugar into your water and lemon juice mixture, then it won't dissolve. You'll just have sugar crystals sitting at the bottom of your lemonade. Lemons out after they've kind of steeped in our syrup, uh, so that it doesn't oversteep and get all weird. There's a there's a there's a difference between doing a little added flavor and like oh wow this is a lot of direction that you have chosen. Uh, so you got to be especially careful when you are dealing with oils or strong flavors like citrus uh, or spices. It's very easy to overdo them and have the right amount become the only thing you taste. It's important to taste your food as you're making it. Yeah, always. It's like if you were playing a song with headphones in or painting a picture with a blindfold on. You can't know until you try. Uh, uh, 
So we're gonna put these sliced lemons in here. Bloop, bloop, sliced lemons. I have our pitcher filled with sliced lemons for decoration. Now I'm going to add in the uh, citrus juice that we measured out and filtered back into the jar. The entirety of our lemon juice that we had with the sliced lemons. And then we're going to add all of our simple syrup into that. Then on top of that, we're gonna do two, uh, 2,000 milliliters or two liters, right? We're gonna do two liters of chilled water. It's all got to combine together to make a delicious lemon. Yeah, 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 get all weird with it. And you take this giant soup ladle for your punch. And then you drink on it like a whale in the old frontier. That's pretty damn good. Mmm. Okay, bam. Lemonade.